even though it can be really hard to reach out and talk to people sometimes, if you can find just even a small ounce of courage to do that, honestly, the weight off your shoulders is oh, going to be yeah. huge. My name's Grace, I just turned 30 this year and I've recently, well, over the past few years, have opened a new business um, with Shanine. My name is Shanine and I am 29 years old and yeah, I am a co-owner of Dough Donuts. I think a time that I really struggled with mental health and maybe I didn't realise it at the time, but it was when my parents split up. I was about 13, 14, so just about to hit puberty. And I don't mean to throw my parents under the bus because I love them and I know that they love me a lot, but I think that had a huge effect on me growing up as a teenager. I didn't really have the support that I think I needed at the time. I struggled with depression since I was 17 years old. That's about the time when my parents split up as well. Um, there is a lack of education with all of those emotions. You don't really know what is happening and why you're feeling all of these different things and why you can't even roll out of bed or why you're crying or feeling overwhelmed and, and kind of it grew into my 20s and something I've been dealing with on and off pretty much since I was 17 years old. For me, I thought I had maybe hormonal issues. Why am I feeling this way? Why can't I get, over, get out of bed? Why am I feeling super overwhelmed? And like just certain things would make me cry. I remember going to the supermarket, I always tell this story that I wanted to make a roast chicken and there was no chicken there. And I literally broke down in tears and I was freaking out. And like those situations, I was like, I have no idea why this is happening to me. I went to therapy and I honestly could not recommend that I recommend that for everybody, even yeah. if you feel like you don't have an issue or any issues going on. It was like so mind blowing for me personally. And also talking to people and just having really close friends, um, quality over quantity, you know, going yeah. through school, you thought the more friends you had, um, the more support you had. I think the fact that Shanine and I are not only friends but business partners is actually an amazing thing. And before going into business, a lot of people were saying to us, oh, you know, you've got to be careful going into business yeah. with friends. Yeah, it's so um, true. But really, we haven't had any problems. And I think it's a really, it's actually a really rare and special thing to be able to go into business with a friend because we can support each other in some really deep ways throughout yeah. work. I think you're just very mindful of what the other person goes through and I feel like communication is key right if I don't know what she's going through I can't help her or support her so we need to be able to have that communication and we're always there for each other Just before Level 4 lockdown last year, Shanine and I were doing dough maybe three days a week mm -hmm. and working at our nine to five jobs. We'd actually cut down our hours, so we were only working there as casual employees, really. Yeah, pretty much. So when the lockdown happened, we were kind of nervous for our nine to five jobs because we were already there casually and we knew businesses would be struggling. So yeah. we thought this might actually be an opportunity for us to leave what we've been doing full time and commit over this lockdown period to really focus on how we can get our donut business booming after the lockdown. Yeah. You know, we left our jobs, so we we're still pumping money into the business ourselves, and then we have to pay rent. We still have to pay our expenses. We were just watching this money go and go and go and go until we kind of had to get an overdraft from our bank because we couldn't afford to really pay for any of our expenses and we would like we were enjoying ourselves but then we were freaking out. I think one of the important things that we've both learnt over the past however many years is that all good things take time mm. um, especially well not only just with our business but even with your sort of personal development you're not just going to wake up one day and feel great and be all fixed you know it's a work in progress and that's just like our business you know we started off at markets we wanted to get a shop and it took four years of hard work to get there yeah. and that's the same with mental health you know like you've got to put in work and find that support and really dig deep to sort of come out the other end. I think when you guys reached out to us um, we really wanted to share our story because we know how much we've been through and it's mm -hmm. been like a real struggle at times even just with setting up the business 
Um, we know that there's lots of other small business owners out there that sometimes customers or clients, they forget that behind those businesses are real people. Yeah. Um, like even here at Doe, some people think, oh, you guys have so many followers on Instagram, you guys must have a whole team of people working in the shop. But we don't. We it's don't, literally yeah. just the two of us and our two other employees. Yeah. And we go through um, normal everyday human struggles. We're not yeah. robots or anything. It's important to talk about mental health because it is a real issue, you know, it's not just it's just as bad, if not worse, as a broken arm or a broken yeah. leg, you know? People um, are really suffering. And the more we talk about it, the more we can find the tools to get through any yeah. mental health issues that we have and ultimately live a happier life. Hi, I'm Shanine. Hi, I'm Grace. And, and we, we are, are a Voice of Hope. hope.